in Sahih Muslim Hadith number 1106C, I found a very strange Hadith of Aisha reporting that no companion of Muhammad could hold his penis like Muhammad did. Wait, what did you say, RC? Aisha is literally bragging about how Muhammad could grab his own penis? The answer is yes. Please watch the entire video to see how Aisha and Muhammad deserved each other as an evil, wicked couple. Sahih Muslim Hadith number 1106C An Aisha radiallahu anha Qalat Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yuqabbiluni wa huwa sa'im wa iyyakum yamliku irabuhu kama kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yamliku irabuhu And the translation From Aisha may Allah be pleased with her She said The Messenger of Allah was kissing me while he was fasting and none among you meaning the Sahaba could hold his penis like Rasulullah in other words, Aisha is describing how skilled Muhammad was in grabbing his own penis with his own hands. Now the translators tried to hide this disaster in a false English translation and said, Here the combination of the words mean nobody can control his desire like the Prophet. But then again, what can we expect from these liars and deceivers who need to lie to keep Islam safe from dying? If Aisha truly wanted to say his desire, she would have said shahwatahu. The word shahwatahu does mean his desire. But Aisha used the word irabahu, which literally means his penis. Wait, there are some questions left. How did Aisha know? Did she see how the companions used to grab their own penises to compare with how her husband used to hold his private part? Clearly, Aisha must have had some experience with other men. Hmm? Question number two. How does this hadith benefit any Muslim today? Clearly, Aisha became sexually frustrated because Muhammad did not allow any man to marry Aisha after his death. Remember, Aisha was very young when Muhammad died. She was only 18 years old. So she wanted some attention from other men. Question number three. What would you say about such a woman like Aisha who talks about the private part of her husband in public? Would you call her a nasty or filthy woman? Question number four. Why are the Muslim translators such embarrassed liars like always? To lie about the Arabic and hide what the Arabic truly says. Are they afraid that many Muslims out there would get disgusted of Aisha and leave Islam? To make it even more worse, let me show you how Muhammad himself insulted Aisha and called her names. In Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3384, we can read that Muhammad is commanding Aisha to tell her father Abu Bakr to lead the people in prayer. Muhammad orders her again and she gave the same reply and when Aisha kept denying the order of Muhammad, he insulted her by comparing her to the female companions of Joseph, the story which we can find in the Quran. In other words, Muhammad basically called Aisha a whore, a slut. To make it even more worse, if we go to Surah An-Nur, Ayah 26, we can read that wicked women are for wicked men and wicked men are for wicked women. Since we prove that Aisha is a filthy, wicked woman, and even Muhammad himself confirming that Aisha was a slut, we can safely say that according to the logic of the Quran here, Aisha and Muhammad deserved each other as an evil, wicked couple. So my Muslim friends, how is Muhammad a prophet if he's a wicked, evil man?